Good day class. In this video, we will continue to discuss about rotation matrix and position vector. Okay. In our uh, discussion regarding rotation matrix, we can combine rotation matrices, our 3x3 three three rotation matrices by multiplication. But we can't do that in position vector it's impossible to do multiplications for our position vectors because they have uh, the sizes of position vectors are unable to make them uh, uh, possible to multiply with each other it is possible to add them with each other but it is not the proper way to combine the position vector okay because position vector is translation, it means it's also distance, it's also displacement. So if we add position vectors, it will uh, create distances that will, that will uh, make our mechanical manipulator unable to perform. Okay? So what we will do to combine position vector... As well, combining position vector with rotation matrix, we will use what we call homogeneous transformation matrix, denoted as H or T. Okay, this is both. Uh, these are both used in robotics references, but in our discussion, we will use H. Okay, so uh, like uh, rotation matrix and position vector, homogeneous transformation matrix has a superscript and subscript. Okay, that tells us what is the reference frame and the projected frame. Okay, so homogeneous transformation matrix is a 4x4 four four matrix that will uh, that look like uh, this okay it, it looks like this okay it looks like this okay so a homogeneous transformation matrix is a 4x4 four four matrix it is composed of the rotation matrix okay i will show you what is it made of? Okay. So, homogeneous transformation matrix is composed of the 3x3 three three rotation matrix. Okay. Combined with our 3x1 position vector. This is our position vector. So, 3x3 three three combined with 3x1, it will create a 3x4 matrix. Okay, it will create a 3x4 matrix. So, that 3x4 matrix is already a homogeneous transformation matrix. Homogeneous transformation matrix simply means it, uh, it describes... The rotation as well as the position of our mechanical manipulator. That's why it holds uh, both the rotation matrix and the position vector. But because we need to combine uh, homogeneous transformation matrices just like rotation matrix, just like rotation matrices, Okay, like this, it almost uh, look like rotation matrix or rotation matrices. We need to make our homogeneous transformation matrix or homogeneous transformation matrices squ square matrix. Okay, it should be a square matrix. What does square matrix mean? It means that the size of the row and the size of the column must be the same. So this is a 3x4 matrix. 
to make it a square matrix or a 4 by 4 matrix an augmentation column is added the augmentation column looks like this okay it co is composed of 0 0 0 1 okay this augmentation column will make our homogeneous transformation matrix a 4x4 four four transformation matrix. Okay. This augmentation column okay, is also a scaling factor that will make our 3D object uh, far or near. If we, if it uh, changes its orientation and position, okay. So this homogeneous transformation matrix came from our example of this mechanical manipulator from frame zero to frame one. Okay, this is. The rotation matrix from frame 0 to frame 1. And this is the position vector from frame 0 to frame 1. To have a homogeneous transformation matrix, what we will do is to just combine them to make a 4x4 four four matrix. Okay. So, to create a homogeneous transformation matrix, the first part is the 3x3 three three rotation matrix. Okay, this is the first part. The second part is the position vector. Then the last part is the augmentation vector. Okay. A 1 by 4 augmentation vector. So this is our homogeneous transformation matrix. Okay. So because it is now 4 by 4, we can perform the multiplication of 4 by 4 matrices and get the homogeneous transformation matrix of a mechanical manipulator. Okay, so what is the significance of homogeneous transformation, mat transformation matrix? So first, it holds both the rotation and position of our mechanical manipulator so we can describe the rotation and the position of our mechanical manipulator using the position using the homogeneous transformation matrix okay the other use and significance of this uh, matrix is this is our goal matrix this is what we need to design or construct if we will design a mechanical manipulator if we will design a robot arm oh, this is what we need to have the homogeneous transformation matrix okay this will become the blueprint of our mechanical manipulator with this we can design our mechanical manipulator it holds the rotation matrix and the position vector it also holds the link lengths of our position of our mechanical manipulator it also uh, describe how our mechanical manipulator will move okay so in our next topic i will show you how to to put this homogeneous transformation matrix in our MATLAB, okay, in our MATLAB software.